Friday Floss Tube. Drew here at Weasley Studios, back again this week. Um, if you remember from my last video, my computer was about to die, so I didn't get to finish. Because I forgot to tell you my picture this, picture this plus story. Well, since my last video, I've got some haul and some stitchy kindnesses. And I've worked on another project. So I thought I'd just make like another short video plus tell you my picture list plus dilemma. So we're going to jump right in. First of all, Duke would like to say hi. Everybody say hi, Duke. He just got groomed yesterday. So he's looking rather spiffy. Do you want to say hi to the foster? No, you just want to give me a kiss? Come on, say hi to everybody. Say hi. No. He's my stitching buddy. He likes to sit on my lap. Stitch, don't you? Mwah. Okay. There's your world debut on Floss Tube. So, let's just start with some haul. Go. First thing because everyone has been posting about 10 cents DMC at Walmart. So I actually was at Walmart right before this video. Oops. Yay, 10 cent floss. I have no idea if I have these colors. I have no idea if I need these colors. I just was kind of grabbing. Um, I tried to grab a lot of the, the higher end numbers, like the 30s and some of the 900s and 800s, just because I don't think I have as many of those as I do the beginning. So, if I have them, I have them. If I don't, I don't. Whatever. So that'll be fun to put away. Um, second piece of haul, I was at Target yesterday, and all of their school stuff is on clearance. So... I got these binder pouches. 68 cents. They had this green color, this teal green. They had blue, pink, and clear. Open right up. They're kind of rubbery feeling. I thought they were good, 68 cents. So I got three. Technically I got two. But this one has had two on it, so I got three for the price of one. I don't know. None of the others had two attached to them, so I was like, a lucky deal. So 68 cents. I thought that would be good for traveling, putting some floss and your scissors and um, needles in. So that was fun. So get to your local Target. Um, they had a lot of other pencil bags and stuff. Um, like this on sale, I just like these the best. Next, I got some more of those coffee and wine pieces to make um, needle minders with. I got three packages, so now I have four. So super excited to put these together for you all and get those up on our Facebook page to sell. So stay tuned for that. I purchased two things on Stash Unload. I know, after I said I was going to leave leave the site. First thing I got was my first Lizzie Kate. Never owned one before. So Steph, you'll be proud. And Kay. Don't get your tinsel in a tangle. Don't get your tinsel in a tangle. Cute little Christmas. I thought that'd make a fun ornament. And then the second thing I got was Country Cottage Needleworks Pie Menu. You all know I love baking, and my preferred thing to bake is pies. I love baking pies. So this is going to look really cute in our kitchen. Pies. It has peach, strawberry, apple, pecan, blueberry, key lime, cherry, and pumpkin. So that'll be really cute to get stitched up. So, I thought those were fun. So that's all of my haul that I got. I 
Today we're having chocolate milk because it's about to expire. <laughs> this is one of the sloth mugs I bought. Nap all day, nap all night, sleep all day, party never. It was super cute. I had to get it. It's the same thing on both sides and then it's navy on the inside. Okay. I'll show you my whip. So I said that I wasn't going to work on the tattoo piece. Be Ink Inspired by Emma Congdon of Citroia, which is right there. But I brought it out this week. I just wasn't feeling my ornament or stitching Santa. So I don't have a before picture, but last time I just had like this little line right here done. So I've really made a lot of progress on this. I've been just like going at this for the past two days. So I posted a photo the other day and Michelle was like, I love how you're doing all the black first. And I was, you know, I'm a color completer. I just like, I don't know. I just like completing one of every color first. Um, and I was like, yeah, it just feels right to do it that way. And I totally didn't think about it until after I read that, that her comment. It was like, that's how you get a tattoo. Like, you get the outline and the black done first. And then they fill it in with color. So it's only appropriate to do all of the black first. So, I just have the two birds holding up the banner. And then the hands right here and a little motif and a little motif right there. And then I can move down to the second page. The pattern is only two pages, so move down to the second half. I'll probably take this to New York, but this isn't gonna this is no longer gonna be my New York project. Just because the more I thought about it is I don't have this printed out. I have this um, on our iPad, our surface iPad. So that's kind of a pain to have on your lap in the car, I think. It may be easier just to have like a printed out pattern. So I kit it up. New project. Because in September, I'm starting all the things. Start, start, start timber. This pattern is by Lindy Stitches. You all know, you all know Lindy Stitches. Um, Stephanie. She is fabulous. Let's see. Okay, I'll just show you. Happy pumpkin spice season. As we all know, I love pumpkin, and I love pumpkin spice. Now, her photo um, was on white fabric, but I have chose this 16 count Mirage. Um, I posted a photo on Instagram. Don't know. It's kind of like a light gray with um, some splotches, some marbling of darker gray um, by Picture This Plus. So here are the colors, and I just think it's going to look wonderful on this gray. And there's another brown. So I think that's going to look really good, and I'm super excited about this. So that's a small enough thing. It's a, it's a little small, so that'll be a better car project. Um, it's like... 10 or 12 hours to drive to New York, so on the way back. So I have 20 plus hours in the car, so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get this done. And maybe some stitching in the hot hotel at night if I'm not too tired. So we'll see. Super excited about that. As soon as I get it done, framing it, and I'm putting it on our mantle. And I'm going to be really sad when November 1st comes and I take it down to decorate for Christmas. But I may just leave it up too. Maybe I'll put like a little Santa hat on one of the corners of the frame. It's got to be Christmas themed. Maybe I should ask Stephanie to make one that says like, Happy Pumpkin Everyday Season. Stephanie, thoughts? That way I can stitch it and have it on my mantle all year? Happy pumpkin everyday season? Does that even make sense? 
thoughts, comments, concerns about that. So speaking of pumpkin, the past couple days I've been at the grocery store. Because I just love going to the grocery store. So I'm going to give you some two of my favorite pumpkin pie spice things during the season. And then one thing that's new. So, as always, pumpkin pie spice creamer. Now, I have tried every pumpkin spice creamer on the market today. Not today, but just like on the market right now. Always go International Delight. Always. Coffee Mate is disgusting. Coffee Mate coffee creamer just tastes like watered down milk. It's just like watered down and disgusting. So always go International Delight. It is my preferred brand um, for fancy flavors. Now if I just want regular like vanilla or like Italian sweet cream off brands like the Kroger brand or the Walmart brand is totally fine um, or Aldi if I just want like a basic flavor. Um, hazelnut is good in off brand but for fancy flavors always international delight. Their Cinnabon flavor is good. The Amaretto flavor is good. The Irish cream is delicious. Almond Joy Y'all, I drink some really tasty coffee. Okay. My second pumpkin thing of the season. Ever since I was little, I've been obsessed with these. I will probably go through like 15, 15 boxes of these. Who doesn't love a pumpkin delight? Little Debbie's got it going on. They're so good. I, could, I would literally eat this whole box right now. I shouldn't. But I want to. Love them. And I always eat them in a circle. Like I eat like the outer. The outer. I always eat the outer first and then the middle. Because it's the best part where the filling is. Save the best, best part for last. Then these are new. I found these today. Um, Phil found these on Facebook I believe. And I looked the other day when I was at Meijer. And they didn't have them. But I found them today at Walmart. Pillsbury Grand's Pumpkin Spice Rolls. So get to your local Walmart. And I'm going to let you know how these are. Super excited for these. They better be good. I'm going to be pissed. Pumpkin Spice Rolls with Pumpkin Spice Icing. So double the pumpkin. How can you go wrong? Oh, they're Cinnabon. Cinnabon Cinnamon. There we go. Okay, let's get to, ooh, I missed a haul. This isn't a sketchy kindness, this is haul. The Holy Grail of hauls. So last Saturday I posted in Stitch Mania, I posted a picture of a prairie moon pattern, um, zombies. And I was like, this is my Holy Grail pattern. I can't find it anywhere, because on eBay it's like $75. And I was like, what's your Holy Grail pattern? Um, you know, just for fun to see what patterns and things people like really want to stitch but they can't find. Of course, a lot of people said Lady of the Flag by Mirabilia and stuff. So this one lady was like, oh, I'm stitching this right now. Ha ha. No, she really wasn't like, ha ha. But I was super jealous of her. And then another lady, I don't remember what her name was, was like, have you, f have you checked Stitches by Stitches? The shop is called Stitches by Stitches in Cape May, New Jersey. The owner's name is Sharon. She's like, check there. They have Prairie Moons for like $14. Because Zombies is out of print. So I was driving to work. And as soon as I got to work, Googled Stitches by Stitches in New Jersey, called Sharon, and was like, yo, Sharon, looking for this Prairie Moon out of print pattern. Do you have it? And she's like, let me go look. Well, I asked her for two. There's another one, um, Crip Club, that Michelle really wants to stitch. I didn't know it existed until she said something, and I was like, now I need to stitch that too. So I asked Sharon for these two, and she comes back on the phone, and she's like, I have zombies, but I don't have Crip Club. But she's like, I have this other pattern called Stitch Night at the Crip Club. 
I guess there's a whole series of Crip Club patterns by Prairie Moon. So now I need to do them all instantly as soon as she said that. So I'm like, I'll take them both. Zombies. $14.95, people. Not $75, so screw you, person on eBay who thinks you're going to get a lot of money, because you're not. Not for me. I'm paying Sharon. Look at that. Two little green zombies having a cocktail with their Captain Morg. I'm so excited to do this. Like, I literally cannot wait. It makes me not want to do the Happy Pumpkin Spice Season on that gray and do this. But I also kind of want to do this on a funner color, a more fun color. Maybe a light, light, light orange. Do you think the flamingos would blend in? I don't know. But as soon as I get back from New York, I'm starting this. Like, no matter what. So these came in the mail today. And then, Stitch Night at the Crypt Club. Isn't that cute? She's just hanging out at the Crypt Club, stitching, stitching away. And her fancy little hat there. So I'm about to have a whole Prairie Moon, Prairie Moon wall somewhere in my house. So now I just need to find the other Crip Club patterns. Crip Club seems to be very popular, so we'll see if I can find it for not $75. So then, also in the mail today, was this card, this little ice cream card, how cute is that, made in Oregon, from Linda, Linda in Oregon, and I opened this package and I like screamed out of excitement, and then I was like, who the hell is Linda? And I was like, no one's asked me for my address lately, I don't know who Linda is, and I, you know, I texted Michelle and Brittany in our in our group message, and I was like, do either of you know Linda? Who's Linda? Um, and then I got on my computer to get ready for this video, and like, was on Facebook, and I was like, oh, Linda messaged me last weekend and asked me for my address. Linda! <laughs> Linda has sent me not one, not two, but three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of the patterns for Santa's Village. And they all have the buttons. Linda, you are, like, amazing. I didn't know what Linda was sending me. I honestly, after she asked me for my address, I kind of forgot. Because I, like, woken up and I was getting ready for work. I was like, oh, thank you. That's so nice. Here's my address. You know, and then work has been crazy. So, Linda. Wow. I hope you stitch these. Because they don't even look used. And the buttons. Just another button company. So now, with the three that I already have, because she sent Santa's house, and I already have Santa's house. So, that means she sent eight. Yeah, so I only need one more. So I'm going to have to find out which one I don't have and be ordering that on 123Stitch. Like, these are just so cute. Look at Mrs. Claus's cookie shop. Look at that. She's just baking some cookies. Look at the little cookie button for the door. Linda, you are amazing. Thank you so, so much. 
words cannot express. And I like I, now I gotta send you something, Linda. What what do you want, Linda? What do you stitch, Linda? Tell me what you stitch, cause you're getting something. Cause this is too awesome. Thank you, thank you again. Now I gotta decide what fabric to stitch it on, and now I gotta decide how. I've I've been seeing everybody do it, and the picture on Country Cottage Nino Works website um, shows it in one big thing like three rows of four. So do I want to do it in three rows of four? Do I want to do four rows of three? Do I want to do like small ones and have them in individual things? I don't know. I don't know what to do. So we'll see. How would you stitch Santa's Village? There are 12 patterns, 12 houses. How would you stitch them? Let me know in the comments. Maybe I'll use one of your ideas, because I don't know. And I'm thinking a light blue fabric. There's no blue in any of these patterns. So it's all green and reds and browns and yellows. So light blue, everything would really pop. Especially the white, because there's a lot of there's a lot of snowflakes. Can you see that? Can you see the snowflakes? So, okay. So the moment we've all been waiting for, my picture list plus dilemma. So I ordered in the picture list plus Christmas and July sale. I ordered three, let me find the picture. I ordered three pieces of Fathom in 13 by 18. This is Fathom. Three pieces, 13 by 18, because I'm going to do, as you know, the Brooks Books Wizard of Oz series. There are 12 characters. I'm going to do four on each of the pieces. Okay, Fathom is described as like a medium to deep water blue, deep ocean blue. As you can tell, that is a light blue with a deep ocean blue. Very pretty. Every single one of those characters is going to pop right off of that. I was super excited when I saw this. Placed my order on July 25th. Received my order last week. And would you like to know what I got in the mail? I received three pieces of olive green and like a bluish gray. This fabric is so ugly. Like... And put something behind it so you can see it better. Like, this is just so ugly. I promise you, it's not the same as this picture. Okay? I posted about it in Stitch Mania to see if anybody else had had any problems with Pictureless Plus and their colors. Because I've never exchanged fabric like this that I've ordered off a line, so I didn't know, like, how they were. Is it simple? Is it easy? So. Everybody in Stitch Mania was like, yeah, super simple, great customer service. You know, like, they'll they'll exchange it. You can return it. Okay. Really good to hear. Also, though, like, five or six people were like, I have pieces of Fathom, too. It's also ugly and not just how it's described. I thought maybe it was just, like, this batch. You know, they have a lot of orders, they were in a hurry, maybe they didn't think about it. Maybe somebody just kind of like grabbed it, and sh you know, and packaged it up for me. I don't know why I'm trying to put this away, I'm going to show you again. So, I called Picture This Plus the other day, on my way to work. 
And this lady answers the phone. She's like, thank you for calling Pictures Plus. It's Marilyn. And I was like, hey, Marilyn. I have a problem with an order. Ordered it in your Christmas July sale. Got it. It's not the color I wanted, not the color I thought I was going to be getting. Can I exchange this? And she's like, yeah, just send the fabric back. Um, send me $4 for shipping the new fabric to you and a note with what you want to exchange it for. And I was like, okay, thanks, Marilyn. So I hung up. And I get to work because I made another phone call. I wasn't, and then I started thinking about it. And I was like, why do I have to send her more money? I've never had a company tell me that I have to pay for reshipping to fix an order. And I just thought that was really weird. You know what I mean? Like if a customer is not happy with their order, you know, they get an item that they're not pleased with, you know, the company fixes it. So on my way home from work later that day, I called Marilyn and I was like, hey Marilyn, called you earlier, talked to you about my problem, I'm with Fathom, and I'm just curious as to why I have to pay you for shipping again. And she's like, that's just my policy. It's been my policy for 13 years. Um, you know, if it's a mistake, if it's a mistake by picture this plus, you know, like we send you the wrong color, we send you the wrong count, something like that, you know, we'll pay the shipping. But if you just don't like it or, you know, you don't think it's going to work for your project, you know, that's not our mistake. So you should pay the shipping. And I was like, okay. And I was like, but this isn't the right color. I was like, this is not deep water blue. You know, and then she, she was very shitty with me on the phone. And she was like, well, Ada dyes differently than linen, as says on our website. And I'm like, Marilyn, like, I understand that, you know. I didn't say this, but I'm like, I went to art school. I know how color works. I know how dyeing works. Like, please don't talk to me like I'm stupid. So... And I was like, okay, like, I understand that you sell mostly linen, 80%, she said. And I was like, but this isn't, this isn't deep water blue. This is olive green and, like, a grayish white blue. Like, this is nowhere near deep water blue. And she was like, well, if you ever have any questions, you know, you can always call or email and ask about a particular fabric to see if it matches. And I was like, you know, I honestly didn't think of that because I have, like, six or seven other pieces of fabric by Pictures Plus and they all match the, the picture perfectly. So I asked her about Jazz. Jazz was my second fabric that I almost ordered instead of Fathom. And she's like, that fits, that color, it's perfect. She was like, it looks exactly like the picture every time on Ada. And I was like, okay. And then I was like, you know, can I ask why there are not pictures on the website of Ada, too, if you do sell Ada to people? And I was like, you know, I, I, I told her, I was like, like six people, you know, on this Facebook group even said that Fathom doesn't match. You know, like, why don't you have pictures of the Ada as well if it dies so differently? And she's like, I just don't have the space on my website. And she's like, I'm so busy. I just don't have the time to do that. Okay, first of all, Marilyn, that is really bad customer service. Do not tell me that you are so busy that you don't have the time. Like, if you have the time to run a business, then you have the time for good customer service. And good customer service would be putting pictures of Ada on the website if you say it dies differently. Right? Like, why would... Like, I just thought that was really not called for, for her to be so crabby with me. You know, if I dyed fabric and I said it dyes differently on a certain fabric, then I would include a picture. It shouldn't be a guessing game for me. It shouldn't be a guessing game for other customers. Oh, am I actually going to get this color? You know, and I shouldn't have to call you or email you to find out if this color is, is like the picture or not. That's a waste of everybody's time. And you don't have the space on your website. You're so busy, then you have the money to buy more space for your website. I'm just going to say it. And I know you have the money because everyone's buying your fabric. Like, your fabric is on every cross-stitch website. You can buy pictures plus, you know, like, I don't know 
what the issue is here, Marilyn. And then in the course of all that, when, I, when we were talking about the colors of the fabric, you know, and after I told her that people on, on Stitch Mania had said that they also have Fathom and it's not the right color, and she's like, oh, hang on. I asked her if she was going to... I said I don't really want to exchange it for Jazz. You know, I really like the color of Fathom. Was this just a bad batch? Are you going to dye more Fathom? You know, could I have new new pieces of Fathom? And she's like, if you would have seen the water that came off of that batch, she was like, it was as blue as blue can be. Okay, Matt, Marilyn, that's great, but my fabric's not blue. This is all of green. That's not blue. And she's like, Fathom is just our problem, child. It never dies correctly. It never looks like the picture, ever, and it never will. I don't know what to do. Wait, didn't you just tell me earlier that if it's, if it's a mistake by you, I don't have to pay the shipping? You just told me that Fathom doesn't die right. It never looks blue. So if Fathom doesn't die blue, then why are you selling it in Ada? Like, why do you say on your website, deep water blue, and you sell your customers Ada cloth that you say dies differently? So if this color doesn't take to the Ada cloth, then why are you selling it to people? This is not my mistake, Marilyn. This is picture this, picture this plus's mistake. <sighs> I just don't understand. And I feel like I've gone on, like, down a rabbit hole with this. I'm annoyed by her. I'm annoyed by this color. Like, I'm sending this back. She told me I could just send her $2 instead of 4 She'd split it with me. Woohoo, great. So I'm sending her $2, and I'm sending her this ugly fabric back, and I'm getting jazz. But I don't really know if I ever want to buy Picture This Plus, picture this plus fabric again. Like... You're telling me this d doesn't dye right. It never looks blue. Then why do you let people buy Ada cloth in this color if it doesn't work? I don't really understand. And I think it's really rude of her. <sighs> Whatever. So... The past couple days, um, when I've seen people or or heard people talk about where they get their fabric. I've been checking out other fabric websites. Um, Coffee Stitcher really likes um, Ship's Manor fabric, um, and I looked at their website the other day, and it seems pretty reasonable. Um, I know a lot of people like fabrics by Stephanie. Her prices seem pretty reasonable. I don't like Under the Sea fabrics. I think that her prices are just extremely outrageous. So... Probably be going with another fabric company from now on. But I really kind of just want to get my money back and not even exchange it. But I really like the jazz color. Um, there's a like light purple marbling, which will look really good. All the characters will pop off of that. So I'm just going to send her $2 and call it a day. But just know, Marilyn, if you're out there and you're watching... I think you have really shitty customer service. This is not my problem. This is your problem. And there's no need to be rude to your customers. <sighs> very, very uncalled for. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in again. I hope you enjoyed my pumpkin talk and all my stuff. Stay tuned on Instagram. Look for updates on my works. Um, a New York trip. Probably won't be posting another video till after New York. So stay tuned for that. If I get any, how much stitching I get done on the trip. And if I bring anything back. So talk to you all later. Peace, love, and stitchiness. Bye.